America's favorite TV judge, Judge Judy Scheindlin, delivered her final verdict in the race for the White House ahead of New Hampshire's make or break primary. She is not a very political figure. She says she's only publicly endorsed one presidential candidate ever, and that was Michael Bloomberg in 2020. I caught up with her here and asked why Nikki Haley. I met Nikki Haley about a year ago because I was impressed with her four years ago. And when she decided to dip her toe in the water, I said, it's someone who I could embrace, but I first have to meet her. So we spent some time together. And I was impressed enough with what I heard and her history to travel 1,700 miles tonight to convince whoever I can in the state of New Hampshire that Donald Trump should not be president again and that Joe Biden should not be president again. And Nikki Haley is a chance for America to redeem its rightful place in the world. That's the reason. That's an honest, long-winded reason. I read that you said neither Biden nor Trump would know a Houthi from a salami. From a salami. Well, I said that they wouldn't know a Houthi from a salami unless someone whispered in their ear. That would be to Donald. Or put it on a teleprompter, which would be President Biden. I don't think that either of those two men have the intellectual gravitas to govern this great country. I'm not a Trump basher. I lived in New York City for many years. He got woman's rink up and running, and my mother loved ice skating. But even Donald knew years ago that he wasn't going to be president. Even he didn't think he was going to be president. It was a lock. Was. It was a lock. And then he was. And without getting into all of the controversy as to why, he did a couple of things that I agree with when he was president. But chaos follows him. And right now, he's embroiled in legal, financial, personal, civil, criminal actions. You need someone who is totally focused on being president of the United States. I never saw greatness, and neither did anyone else, in the then 50 years that Joe Biden was in public office. He was an ordinary guy. He tried president twice and backed out. There was a reason for that. I don't know how it comes about. The, for the same crazy way it came about that Donald Trump was president for four years, that, that was the same finessing that gave us Joe Biden. Neither one of those two men should be president for another four years. Joe Biden is now older. I'm not getting, going to get into with you what everybody talks about with regard to his cognitive ability, but I know he's my age. I run a big, and I said in my article, I run a big business. I'm the matriarch of a family of 20 plus. I make decisions that affect hundreds of people every day. I need a nap in the afternoon. So does Joe Biden, probably too. Nikki Haley is better. She's young, she's vital, she's focused. She has the intellectual capacity. She's measured. She doesn't get ruffled by bullies. She knows how to stand there, stand her ground, respond respectfully. I mean, if you listen to her at the United Nations, she commanded respect. Well, that's what I'm looking for in a president, again, someone who commands respect. I believe she has that. I know Donald does not. And I know that Joe Biden does not. I believe she does. That's why I traveled 1,700 miles here. One last question. Nikki Haley, is it part of why you are supporting her because she's a woman? No, I would support her if she were a frog. <laughs> she's capable. She's capable, she's poised. Men can be capable, poised, direct. 
honest. I don't think she's... I, I don't think she's any of the negatives that I see in her, the opposition right now. I certainly don't think that she's a bully. I certainly don't think that chaos follows her. I certainly don't think that she's unfocused because of everything else that's going on in her life. And I know that she is cognitively stable. So the fact that she's a woman, great. But I would vote for her if she were a goat.